<laughs> nice. Let's make sure we're coming in live. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream and an unscheduled live stream, sort of unscheduled. I was hoping I was gonna be able to do this this morning. Um, and what we're doing right now is a comic book haul video. <laughs> a small comic book haul in terms of how many books we got on the expensive side in terms of what it cost us. Okay, and we are doing a live stream tonight, current events live stream tonight at uh, at 8 p.m. And this is sort of, uh, I sort of let the word out. Lonely Piggy, how you doing? <laughs> I was wondering if people are gonna pop in right away or not. <laughs> Hope all is well, doing good, brother, doing good. Yes, let's go, Void, how are you doing? Awesome, awesome, good to see you, Void, by the way. Good to see you, man. I'm glad uh, you're still with us. Very glad you're still with us. If you weren't, you wouldn't get to see what we got, <laughs> right? And it's a, it's like a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sort of a box, <laughs> right? There is a, probably a total of eight comics here. There's two CGC graded and modern age lot that I bought. Chicho, boop, doop, a chew. <laughs> Wait, that's Nardwar. Do, 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 boop, boop. That's Nardwar. Nardwar. Friend of mine. Friend of mine. We went to high school together with Nardwar, right? I've mentioned this before. Crack. Morning, morning. I thought I smelled comics. I just stopping in to say hello. Just on my way out the door. Oh, okay, brother. Enjoy. I hope you have a good day, crack. And you're going to like these comics. Uh, nice haul. Goodbye. One of them was a fantastic, two of them were fantastic deals. The modern age comic book haul uh, lot was a fantastic deal. One of the golden age CGC graded was a fantastic deal. And the other CGC graded was fair value. I had to pull the trigger on it. Uh, it looks like Chicho starts 12 hours earlier <laughs> today. Who wants to talk about current events? Let's talk comic books, man. It's a lot sweeter. It's a lot sweeter. Cheryl, how are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Huckleberry, morning, Chicho. I'm excited to be able to catch, um, catch two streams in a row after missing so many. Ah, Huckleberry, gl glad to have you, man. You're catching good ones. Yesterday's last night's stream was fantastic. Personal finance, investing in personal finance. Very nice and chill. Very nice and chill. And a comic book call. You can't go wrong with this, right? about i remember the story something to do with fire something something you shouldn't have been doing <laughs> indeed thing bobber craig i can't wait to see what you got always love your comic calls yeah me too me too in a big way uh started going through a lonely piggy started going through my uh, collectibles and posting some on ebay gradually i was genuinely surprised by how expensive some have grown uh to over time so yay for making money yay indeed yeah and collectibles have gone up in price and you know a lot of people are saying this is a bubble on the collectibles side and stuff like this this is in large part devaluing of the currency in large part inflation in large part is people who are fed up with the uh, the the standard way of investing with wall street and stuff looking for alternatives to park their money because they're realizing that wall street is a scam right wall street is working um not for their benefit but to take away their freedoms to destabilize our societies to devalue currency they get the first bit they get the first wave of trillions of dollars going to them and they throw crumbs at us right so f them find your own system a system that you enjoy you love to invest your time and money in and your resources and go with that right if you're doing it the odds are there are other people doing it as well right comic books are paper gold gold jerry <laughs> gold <laughs> what am i hearing oh yeah we're, we're we're talking well this is personal finance like these comic book halls are personal finance right we are going to link them up i can't wait to make the next uh, um investing in personal finance video in relation to investing in comic books it's going to be really good 
like <laughs> in my mind it's gonna take me a while to put all the tables together oh you hear the cats that's right that's right the kitty cats are awake i gave them i gave them food this morning and uh, they were like meow, 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 meow. and they're just talking like via is very talkative sal is not very talkative but when he talks he has something important to say right <laughs> like seriously it's crazy via loves the cuddles he'll come he'll come to us um and just go meow meow pick me up and i pick him up and i walk around doing stuff right and sal only comes over to say meow if you really want something so deep meow and i gave him little treats uh jumping up and down and they are they love wrestling they're like judo and they they stalk each other right and then one of them hides somewhere waiting for the other one to <laughs> the other one to come this way and the other one knows this one is hiding here so comes around the back and goes boom, pounces on him and then they boom, run off and then they boom, slide into the walls it's 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 really fun to watch really huckleberry i love the cats i'm very excited to get <laughs> hopefully they won't knock us over <laughs> one or two when i've got an apartment of my own yeah huckleberry i would recommend getting two the reason is cats get lonely right and because we had one cat before and he was an older cat like when i got introduced to him and started living with him and he was oh man he was an amazing cat uh his name was cron like chronic right and but having two cats together you can see how much they love each other and they interact as long as they get along these are siblings so they get along so i would recommend siblings okay chicho who's the superior fighter uh, it depends sal is faster boom, boom, boom. right Avia can't really catch up with Sal, but in close combat, like uh, sometimes Via takes the advantage, and Sal becomes the sub, but then Sal takes over. They they switch up. They switch up. Uh, Sal is high energy, really high energy. Lots of juice in Sal. Lots of juice in Sal. <laughs> Ultra God says Sal, 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 Sal. <laughs> Drug name. <laughs> Think about where Chicho and chat. My cat is slow, slowly making friends with a possible stray. I saw that the black cat that you went that you showed the picture in the yard. That was cute. I have pics in the pet picture today. Uh, the stray came uh, to our back door to look inside. Nice, nice. No, Sal is just keeping V in the game. That is all. Uh, to a certain degree, to a certain degree, it could be. <laughs> to a certain degree, it could be gang should we look at a comic book haul let's look at a comic book haul that's long enough wait for people to roll in uh we've been going at it for like five minutes or so right so what is this haul let me give you the total of this right now i'll, I'll give you the total in canadian dollars and i'll give you each one individual in u.s dollars okay um just because uh, actually the total in u.s dollars was 250 54 dollars so 255 dollars in us okay so this is our comic book haul total 255 dollars us in canadian it was 284.50 canadian and then there was sales tax of 14 bucks and shipping was 25 dollars right so it was um what do you call it 40 dollars tax and shipping and 284 dollars total cost the the taxes because i'm buying from the same seller the tax is getting to me a little bit uh, but some of them are really good deals so that's compensating for the tax good morning knights of old comic you're in for a good haul brother you're in for a good haul so let me crack this open and i'll show you what we got I'll show you what we got. And this seller is very professional, packages them well and stuff, right? Man, Chicho, you seem in a good mood today and it's uh, contagious. Awesome, awesome. I am, man. I got comic book hauls. We've been doing live streams up the yin yang. Uh, 
there's amazing stuff going on in the world like really this is the modern age lot that he put together very nicely packaged right <laughs> Yin -yang, but, right very nicely packaged okay and we have the two cgc's here and the cgc's are nicely bubbled up right so let's take it on take a look at the modern age first and then i'm going to show you the cgc uh cgc by the modern age was a great deal great deal great deal okay the modern age comics this lot cost twenty dollars us okay in canadian funds it was canadian funds what was it in canadian uh 24 dollars 24.50 canadian or 19.50 us okay so and if you take a look i'm going to show you you'll know why it was such a great deal it was number ones of an independent comic book series here i'll show you with all the variants including the exclusives dang we need to decentralize up the yin <laughs> a fan art is too too funny yeah i love that one uh gina how are you doing hey chicho that shirt suits uh you very well thank you very much thank you i jacked it from my nephew <laughs> it was his <laughs> he, he's not here right now so it's mine now I believe Chicho has entered the spring period. Yeah, you know what? I'm the the sun is shining. It's very nice. <laughs> Kitty cats are like, yeah, party. Check this out. Nice. Now, this is all the number ones for Vault comics okay i walk with monsters and they're all in what did he say in the thing he said they were all mint well let me let me look at it um, doop. he described them as i walk with mon monsters here let me show you the first cover right and i have the first issue of this already i bought this and i bought the first a uh, few issues of this and he said they're anywhere from near mint minus to near mint and uh you get all of uh you get them all including the one in 30 foil the one in 15 the one per store version and all three regular comics now the version one has a little ding in it okay has a little ding in the thing and it's basically 20 dollars us 25 dollars canadian and let's crack these open and take a look vault comics these guys they're putting producing some amazing amazing uh yeah let me take it out of the back they're producing some amazing comics the independents are killing it really let's put this here i love the way the guy packages up the books is that a black obsidian ball behind you yeah it is is it black obsidian it's uh check it out. should be all right it's my partners it's beautiful it's been with her for a while, long time you can see the camera the reflection in it right needs a polishing i think she has a few of these uh 2023 alien aliens have arrived and decentralized earth oh my god they're just going crazy <laughs> nice 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 and the foil variant very good and the exclusive very nice let me show you this let me show you this number one number one that's the one in 15 and this is a number one so i'm going to show you this Ooh, can we add this to the possible reading in the future yeah 
you for sure i gotta again you guys gotta remind me which ones we added in the in the future i walk with monsters so this is the cover a okay i already have this one I love videos like these, Uncle Barry says. Before I started watching them, I was woefully unaware of any comic book companies other than Marvel and DC. Yeah, I buy I buy more uh, independence than Marvel and DC by a long shot. This is cover B, I believe. Okay, it should say it. Uh, probably says it on the back. <laughs> it's got a little I voted thing on there. So this is cover B. Uh, scry i don't know what scry means gina she did uh, she did some uh, mineral uh, crystal work and stuff this is cover uh, c i believe okay good morning chicho spencer how are you doing and everyone hope you're all doing well doing fantastic variant oh my <laughs> god <laughs> Smith, the man, the legend. This is the one in fifteen. Okay, so if you bought for for stores that ordered fifteen of the number ones, they would get one of these, right? So one in fifteen variant. Here's the one in thirty foil. So that's a foil cover, right? It's the same as the one in fifteen, right? It's the same as the one in 15, but it's foil, right? Should I bring it out so you can see the foil? Cool. Take it out. It's got like a foil feel to it, right? You should read uh a witcher oh dude i elder god i try to get my uh, not elder god uh ding bobber i try to get my hands on the witcher number one but it's i'm being outbid and this is the one per store variant okay one per store variant and it's got a little ding in the back uh he had the picture of it okay which you know would kick it down to like 9.4 9.2 if that's the only flaw with it right Cheryl and I know my tastes aren't necessarily the same as the group so no worries if the group uh, isn't into it well if we put it in for a reading at some point we're going to read it right if we choose it in one of the five I'll try to include it Cheryl I gotta remember though Gina is the car that you already own uh graded uh, similarly um uh, probably it's like a near mint right so this one that I own uh, da, da, da. it was just a cover number uh, just a main cover I just bought the main cover right so this one I have the foil cover is cool looks beautiful yeah and this this is the a virgin this is the virgin variant that's one per store right it's a beautiful cover here let me take it out this one alone fetches a pretty hefty sum so getting them all let me find where is the ding oh there's like here let me see if i can show it to you guys it's not even a ding it's like a well it is a ding i guess i can't you can't even see it where is the reflection on <laughs> I can't. Where is it? Oh, I need a sun. Oh, oh, oh. It's like. Where is it again? It's here. But anyway, it's minor imperfection. And it's. Uh, here's the cover without the reflection. It's a beautiful cover. Take a look. The virgin variant. Oh, right there. There's one on t on the cover. Oh, yeah, this is the one on the cover. See this? It wasn't on the back cover. It's was, it was right there, right? That's the reflection. The, that's the reason why you couldn't see the other one because it wasn't really the one that he pictured. 
So this I would probably say it's it'd be graded like a nine, right? And people say a press can take that out, but whatever. Okay. Cool. And uh, the writer for this is Paul Cornell. The artist for this is Sally Cantierno. Sally Cantierno. Let me show you some of the interior art from the regular cover. Because the regular cover, you know, is not expensive. The version cover is. I don't want to accidentally drop it or anything, but let me show you the inside cover. The artwork looks beautiful. Right? This is the cover A. Okay. Oh, you had this on your list. Check this out. Okay. Cheryl. Oh, look at this. That looks pretty sweet. Look at that. Oh. oh, looks like a pretty brutal comic, right? Very cool. Maybe we should add this. I think so, Cheryl, yeah? Insane art, very cool art. Just, it's very, it's nice reading, it's clean, right? I don't feel the art, but uh, I'm old school, Elder God. The story is supposed to be really good. So, let's put this on the side here. So that was the cheap, cheap one, right? Huckleberry Chicho, do you have different uh, policies for handling comics based on whether or not you intend to sell them later? Um, I'm pretty, not necessarily. I. I handle my comics with care, right? Uh, I never really buy comics just to sell them, right? I buy comics because I want them. I do buy multiples of certain things that come up, right? So those ones I just buy and I read the one I read and I bag and board the rest. And I usually don't even know the one, uh, which one was the one I read because I'm very careful reading my comics unless they're like 50 cent comics 25 cent comics uh, some of the dollar comics that i buy and i have a stack of comics that i'm that i've been reading over the last three four years that are like one dollar comics and lost that i'm getting really cheap and i don't put bag and board on those ones I'll, i've shown you some of those ones a little bit like the clean uh, old school panels yeah me too i'm i'm I like arts of all kind, right? So uh, I'm okay with the stuff. Okay, here's one of the CGCs. Now this one, we got a fair deal on it. Okay, some people will say it was cheap. If you waited a little bit longer, maybe you could have got it cheaper. Okay, possibly. But I pulled the trigger on this because uh this sounds getting into trouble right now uh i pulled the trigger on this because uh, i was getting the other uh graded comic book and the the seller it gives you a certain amount of time uh to buy comics from him before he bills you so i wanted to include it in the shipping as well so uh sort of combined shipping right uh, but let me bring it out this one okay 
I looked online, and there is only uh, Speedball number one. I love Speedball. <laughs> Speedball is one of my favorite characters uh, from the Marvel Universe. CGC alert. Uh, I can get completely lost in comics where half the story is tucked in the art. Yeah, me too. Just and then background, you see, you see the stuff. No, you're not allowed in here. Off you go. Off you go. Hold on. Let me bring out the other CGC because Via's like, hey, a box. Let me get into the box. <laughs> Come here. You can get into this box. There you go. In you go. You can get in there now. Okay. Yeah, get in there. Cats and boxes. Wow. Cats and boxes. Wow. Okay, hold on. Let me take these guys out. There you go. Now you can just sit in the box. <laughs> they love sitting in boxes. Cats and crinky things. Yeah. Give them the bubble wrap. Yeah, the bubble, they'll rip it apart and eat it. I don't want them eating plastic. With paper, it's okay. I mean, paper is not going to do any damage. Right? Paper is not going to do any damage. Now, check out this one. This one is... From 1952, Girls Love Story number 16. Okay. We ended up paying US $115, $115 US for this. Let me show it to you. Okay. Take a look. If you look on CGC's database, there's only two graded that they have in their database. This is the second graded one. Okay, I think they have one graded at eight, and this is the other one. You could probably find this. This is fair price. Okay, my cat, my cat was uh, doing the same with my Instagram live stream. Then he started to climb the TV to get a fly. <laughs> Kitty cat break. <laughs> Kitty break are fun. Kitty breaks are fun. Cheryl, what? Uh, that ought to be interesting. That ought to be interesting. Uh, my way that would be right so this is cgc graded at six and here's the back of it let me take it out of the plastic they're both here now going going with the with the cardboard right so girls love story graded at six from 1952 okay from dc comics okay what's the insignia say Girls Love Story, does DC even have their, they don't even have their logo on this, right? Take a look. Girls Love Stories. You're getting serious reflection. It's a clean case, right? There you go. That's better. Now on eBay, there's one listed at four, 4.5, which is listed for like $50, right? So you can buy this. For fifty dollars, a graded four point five right now, and it's the only one listed on eBay. Okay, I went with this one graded because the grading itself would cost me like twenty, thirty dollars at least to get it graded, and you know shipping and all that jazz. So went with this one instead. Uh, I haven't I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm just having tea. I had a little bit of my cookie, and that's the background on it, right? Very cool book. As you know, I've been collecting. Uh, I've been into collecting uh, romance comics, golden age romance comics, and the golden and silver age romance comics for the last little while. I think they're undervalued in a big way. Uh, just I did from the research I did. Uh, there. In high grade, they're hard to find, extremely hard to find. There's some amazing artists that have worked on Golden Age uh, romance comics, Jack Kirby, Dick Ayer, Stan Lee, um, uh, John Severin, uh, Matt Baker, uh, Wally Wood, like giants of the industry have worked on Golden Age romance comics, right? Wow, 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 right? Girls love stories with uh, no logo. <laughs> I used to have Young Romance number one. I wish I kept it. That's from the 
Young Romance number one from the 60s with John Romito Jr. If you're talking about that one, Knights of Old Comics, I have that copy. Uh, Andy, how are you doing? I'm actually wondering who was reading this comic back in the day. More girls or boys? It would have been more girls. Like this romance comics were a huge seller. Like that's the entertainment, right? Like there was no, how many people had in the 1950s, how many people had TVs in their homes, right? So this was a fair value. This was fair value, okay? Um, and I think it's underpriced, tell you the truth, okay? Let's take a look at the next one. This one, we got it at a steal, an amazing price. not sure but i might have one of them um i have a elder god i have a large collection of romance comics do you oh elder god hold hold on to them the romance comics uh they're undervalued i feel no you can't have the bubble you don't want to eat the bubble sal and Dee are both like box they're both into the box right now they're both sitting in the box. No, the Kirby Simon one for uh, oh, the from the 47 Night's Will comic. You had that one, <gasps> young romance number one. No, you don't have it anymore. Did you sell it? You must have sold it. Whatever you sold it for, you could have got a lot more for it now. Like, when did you sell it, and how much did you sell it for? this is and by the way this one this one no you can't go up there this one he had a price tag no via no via this one he had a price tag of a hundred dollars on here hundred dollars us so we paid 115 so fair value what we what he was selling it for i guess i don't know how if he had this in a store or not right check out this one Check out this one. Ding bobber. Anybody here heard of uh, Black Eyed Peas? Yeah, for sure. Comic which uh, with the. Oh, you posted that, Ding bobber. That was awesome. Comes alive. Literally, the panels uh, become animated with voice acting. It's called a AR comic. I believe the first of its kind. Um, proud owner. Proud owner. Nice. Check this one out. This one we paid. We paid this one we paid us we paid 90 dollars us canadian it was 114 dollars canadian right 90 dollars us 114 dollars canadian a date with millie number five cgc graded at six okay he had a price tag of a 175 dollars on this oops where is it $175 US, we paid $90 US. A date with Millie. Okay. This is from the second uh, series. Okay. A date with Millie from Atlas Comics, Marvel. Okay. The story is by Stan Lee. Okay. The story is Stan Lee, and the cover is Stan Goldberg, and the art is Stan Goldberg. And graded at six from 1960. That dress. <laughs> that dress. <laughs> awesome. This was a great deal. This was a great deal. Fantastic deal. I was surprised I was able to get this at that price. People didn't bid it up. There was a couple of other CGC graded books there that i was bidding against like someone with on both of these actually both of these romance comics the person that was bidding against me had like eight thousand plus feedback like he's a total reseller high-end buyer right okay very cool very happy to have this very happy to have this and in the back enjoy steady pay every day as a nurse enjoy steady pay every day as a nurse awesome awesome 
I have some uh, Amelie comics. Uh, I don't have. Uh, I don't know if I have date with Millie. But very happy to have this. Very happy to have this. Smith, I assume grading skill goes to ten. It does. Yeah. If that's a six for 175 US, what would a ten go for? A ten? I don't think there is a ten. If there was a ten, it probably go for like ten grand. 10 15 20 grand like it would be huge i don't think there's there there isn't a 10 is a 10 even possible for something of this age i don't think so i don't think so okay sold for my uh, my romance number one maybe three to five years ago but it funded other comics so it's probably okay yeah that's the that's the kicker uh knights of old comic right i've kicked myself for not buying certain books and then i think about it and i go okay i use those funds to buy different books right maybe they haven't gone up in value as much but you know you do you do what you can right so i'll be a 10 uh i'll be a 10 at that age like a 10 for this like a nine nine point something for this would fetch i don't know you, you could check on ebay like uh, just go date with millie and see what a nine would get you should we do that right now hopefully it won't kill the stream but let me try it out i don't know if uh tens of the golden age exist. i don't think so i don't know if i've ever ever seen a 10 of a golden age right uh let's do this a date with millie uh view similar where's view similar oh there's no view similar a date with millie cgc i'm gonna go date with millie cgc right cgc like here a date with millie number one cgc graded at 3.5 and that's 1956 um this is the second series the 1956 would be the first series right so the the uh the first series 3.5 goes for 800 or listed at 860 dollars right um here a date with millie <laughs> this one and this one is from 1957 this is from the first series as well a 7.5 uh highest graded four is listed at 1600 or 1500 dollars us right like here a date with uh millie the model 101 uh, from 1961 cgc graded at 9.0 is listed for 1700 dollars right you would have to look on here like literally you have to dig down it's hard to find it's hard to find some of these books really twist how are you doing i'm in the wrong industry smith says i saw 3.5 on ebay for over a thousand yeah yeah and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange on wikileaks playlist on censor tube me too cheryl says hope you're having a great day having a good day brother thank you very much stanley story what does it say happy birthday hey isn't it great the way millie is celebrating the birthday party bah what's great about it it's my birthday haha <laughs> it's the redhead's uh, birthday in the back and by the way gang apologies for not catching up but thank you for the follows thank you for the support fan can hi what is your oldest comic book my oldest comic book is, i have a handful from the 19 uh, 40s not very many and they're in low grade right they're in low grade nights of old comic i want a teenage romance is 32 but now is not the best time to go after high profile collectibles like that one is uh, teenage romances 32 is that matt baker 
which one is that uh, Knights Vault comic? Teenage Romance is number 32. Brother, uh, how many times have me and you or any anyone buying any comic said, oh, it's not the right time to buy it. It's a little too high. And then you realize it, it, it got away from you. The teenage romances go for a fair bit. Teenage romance is 32. Let's see. Collectibles, collectibles, collectibles. Let's see what we end up getting. It's not even available. I would have to go here. Okay, I gotta check this out, gang. Teenage Romance is 32, so it's on my radar. Oh, saucy, saucy, saucy. Here's the Matt Baker. Yeah, indeed. Matt Baker. Oh, Via's coming for the thing. Let me link this up to you guys. Let me link this up to you guys. No, don't go for the plastic. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's the my favorite baker, is it? Yeah. I have a, a handful of bake. Oh, what an amazing cover. Oof. That is, I would kill to have that. I would kill to have that. I'm going to throw this little kitty cat down. Come on, down you go. Oh, not a second game. Oh, look at them. They're both going on here. Come here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> These kitty cats. I think this is the first time I'm doing a comic book haul with the kitty cats awake that are seeing boxes and papers and they're like going, oh my God, heaven, heaven. Look at them. They're like smelling it going, wow, this is cool. So Matt Baker covers indeed. <laughs> I love it that you can just grab kitty cats and go whoop. 4,000 was the final price. What great 4,000. What a beautiful cover. What a beautiful cover. Matt Baker romance comics fetch a huge amount. If you were buying Matt Baker uh, covers 10 years ago, you'd be paying probably about 20% of what they're going for now. Right? Wow, wow, wow. What a cover. What a cover. That is a beautiful cover, man. <laughs> I should be putting money aside. And gang, uh, Knights of Old Comic. I don't think the prices of these are going to go down. I really don't think so. Okay. Uh, I think the prices of some of these, the hot comics, the modern hot comics, where people are chasing like one in 1,000, one in 500. I don't think the last the price when it comes to on a long-term basis but the golden age books some of the giants of the industry that have created some of these books some of the hard to find books right that didn't make it into the collector's circle i think what's hap what's going to happen is because of the money flow the release of m1 uh, there's been so much like liquidity is being pumped into the market but it's only going into for only a few people right and those people need to be able to find places to park their money like for example hedge funds are buying crypto bitcoin to put it on their balance sheet so they can show their profits right so there's money being dumped to the, dumped into the market and it's not money it's currency fiat currency right that people are trying to put places where devaluation inflation okay is not gonna diminish their value right lots of new money flooding into the comic market for investors types since december they've been inflating and and keys yeah and it's been going on the flood started about five years ago five six seven eight nine years ago or so you saw a wave come in 
I remember going to a comic book show. Uh, this would have been about 10 years ago. A local comic book show in Vancouver where I went up to the guy. I was, uh, there were some books I was, I was looking for, right? And I said, okay, do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have this? And one seller was like, dude, I've, this is like the fifth show he had done in like three months. This is summer. The guy was from Alberta, so he was flying around doing shows or driving around doing shows you can't fly around with your comic boxes he goes this is like the fifth show or third show he had done he's like he, he said there are buyers coming on onto the scene and they're grabbing every key every key he said there was one show he went to one person came in and just grabbed every key he had on the wall and he bought them all right and the guy was flabbergasted. The guy's been in the business for like 40 years, right? Buying and selling comic books. It's, it's, a, it's an underground hobby, by the way, right? So we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. Uh, as long as the icon comics are protected for future generations. Yeah. Archiving, archiving, archiving. And by the way, one of the other reasons comic book prices have been going up especially on the older comics and key comics and special edition comics is because of museums are buying comic books now so for example in canada it's even worse now it's even worse now and i don't know if it's worse it's just the words got out that this is art this is an amazing place to park your money in terms of personal finance and investing right like one of the things nice of all comic you'll know this in the 90s like 80s 90s i don't know if in the early 2000s but in the 80s and 90s ec comics they were on the more expensive side they were sought after but collectors weren't really chasing them right and they especially weren't chasing the canadian edition ec comics right because they would release them in the United States and they would release them in Canada as well. Sometimes at the same time, sometimes like a month delay or whatever it is, right? It's the Canadian edition. The advertisements are different and stuff like this. Now, as you can tell, the Canadian edition print runs are a lot lower than the American edition print runs, like way lower. Numbers wise, the United States right now has 330 million people population. Canada has 33 million people right so 10 times less population i don't know if the circulation was 10 times less but it was way lower and in the 90s 80s and 90s the canadian price variant ec comics weren't fetching as high a price now from what i've seen the canadian price variants especially in high grade fetch a premium premium price one of the reasons for that is canadian museums are buying them up right canadian collectors want specifically canadian variant comics right and it's not just ec comics there's other golden age comics that are canadian variants and some of them some of the crime does not pay they're fetching 10 times five to ten times what the american variants are fetching okay so there's new money new blood coming in and people with a new mindset saying this is a good place to be i wonder about this a lot with uk price uh, books yeah yeah there there are some uk price books are going up as well i've seen some that are uk variants they're they're nothing like the canadian variants because the canadian variants came out during the same time as the american variants they're very close uh, at the same time from what i understand right uh bureaucracy kills elder god uh quote in a comic you know how you can tell who the arch villains going to be he's the exact opposite of the hero and most times they're friends like you and me haha <laughs> yeah and they're very the the line between villain and hero is very fine line very fine line which is why batman had a con contingency plan to take care of superman if he all of a sudden crossed that line and uh what is that uh, series called uh justice uh, the one that looks into superman crossing the line when he when the joker i'm giving you spoilers but when the joker kills lois lane and superman goes and kills joker and he goes uh justice injustice 
right? What an amazing series, right? The first one, anyway. I read that. Knights of Old Comic. A few books in comic link auctions have doubled since December. Have doubled since December. Wow, wow. Well, the Federal Reserve with M1 increasing the money supply by forty percent in one year. Forty percent of liquid money supply fast money with m1 increasing by one year and then them changing the definition to include other stuff so that 40 percent increase in money supply is masked relative to what they're reporting now right there's a lot there's trillions of dollars in the markets right now right insane batman have a contingency plan for the whole justice league this is super cool to me it is actually because of course batman would haha <laughs> yeah yeti punk uh i lucked out yesterday at a shop i got I, I go to i walked out with the first appearance of the rocketeer nice dave stevens i have that fantastic uh slayer star slayer number two uh rocketeer for next to nothing i'm super stoked as i love paul uh, characters a great addition to my collection awesome yeti awesome yeti i have that and dave steve i just bought a dave stevens another dave stevens uh risque female cover uh coming to me coming to me now i need to watch a superhero movie awesome awesome <laughs> gang that's my comic book haul i hope you like very happy to have these very happy to have these and um Cheryl, send me a reminder to include. I'll remember, but just in case, include. I walk with monsters as one of our reading options. I'd love to read it. I would love to read it. Give a little, uh, uh, little promo for Vault Comics because Vault Comics is extremely underrated. Extremely, there is so many independents out there that are so underrated, and Vault Comics is one of my favorite. Same with Black Mask, and of course Valiant, right? So, uh, for sure, I would love to give some props to more independent publishers. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Knights of Old Comics, still many bargains out there, though. Yeah. The spe speculators don't have the knowledge that only a passion for comics brings. Indeed, Knights World Comic. Yeah, the, and they will acquire that knowledge. The speculators will acquire that knowledge slowly. And it's a good time to buy these books now before the, the people realize, wow, not all speculators are going to remain in the market, right? But there's going to be a handful that are going to go, wait a second, let's look into some of the other opportunities, right? bureaucracy kill the opportunity cost of not buying keys seems pretty high right now i don't see a collectible crash coming well unfortunately you know you could be a contrarian and say yeah it's coming because people don't see it coming thank you for sharing my pleasure huckleberry i'll do awesome cheryl i still want lois lane part two man elder god if i find it it's somewhere in my boxes where we will definitely read uh what happens to superman when he turns into a cat <laughs> Oh, that too, that too. Yeah, Daisy, how are you doing? Yeah, I did watch Return from uh, Zemba. Good book. Cool. Gang, thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed the comic book haul and Speedy Gonzalez outro since we didn't do an intro. I am on Patreon. If you want to follow this work, if you want to support the, this work, Patreon is a great way to do so. Gang, those of you who are supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support. Uh, it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. Yeti, great haul, Chicho. I'm glad I didn't miss all of it this time. Awesome. Lonely Piggy, thanks for the stream. Show. My pleasure. Nice well accomplished. Crash, probably not soon, but books can't double every month. Yeah, they will stabilize, right? They go up and they stabilize, and then other books follow, right? It's the same thing as, uh, as any market, right? We are live streaming on Twitch. If you want to participate in these live streams, you want to be in twitch okay and you can join our twitch channel follow and you should get notifications you can turn them on or you can join our discord page and you will get notifications about these live streams on discord and i do announce these live streams on parlor lo minds vk gap and twitter okay and lo okay and we do have a discord page you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want and type in social and all the links will pop up including the discord page down at the bottom here okay 
so you're welcome to join us there uh 12.5 hours till next stream 12.5 uh no 10.5 Bef uh, before and i'll sit later yeah i expect twitch might not send oh really yeah because we've already streamed today maybe uh for live streams when we don't have any visuals we will upload the audio to soundcloud as a podcast kitty cats are sleeping now they went crazy with this thing and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor to Pichute and rumble and if we have enough points to odyssey at some point okay thanks for being here gang very happy to share these okay awesome bye everyone and i'll see you in 10.5 hours as elder god says <laughs> the god's math was a little off initially <laughs> you went the other way uh so we'll see you in 10.5 hours if you can make it to a current events live stream or even if you want to make it to a current events live stream bye everyone i hope you have a fantastic day